the story of the United States, the story of America is one of the greatest stories in the history of the world. We were born of a great dichotomy. We were born on one hand with, with foundational principles in our own constitution and declaration of independence that are the most enlightened principles that have ever been imbued into the founding of any country in the world. On the other hand, we had slavery, genocide of the Native American people, and so forth. So we, in our DNA from the very beginning, there has been this dichotomy. Some people act like this, they just discovered this. Like, hello, no, this is not news. But the story of the United States is that even though in every generation there have been those who did stand for the forces of oppression, for the forces of lovelessness, who did wish to, just as there are now, withdraw the material resources of the country from the goal of the full embodiment of our own enlightened principles, there have been those who pushed them back. It is important, we know that in our community, you've got to identify your darkness, but you also got to identify your light because you need your light to cast out the darkness. Yeah, we got some stuff that we're not perfect, but we also have the glory of God within us, and let's not forget that either. So in the United States, it's important that we identify slavery, but it's important we identify with the abolitionists. Yeah, it's important that we identify that women couldn't even vote, but it's important that we identify with the women suffragettes. Yes, it's important that we identify that there was segregation and legalized white supremacy in the American South, but it's important that we identify with the civil rights workers. It's important that we realize this is not the first generation that has had forces that have harnessed political power to push against the very enlightenment that we believe not only is the meaning of America, but for those of us in the spiritual community, the meaning of the self-actualization, which is the destiny of the human race. But let us not be the first generation that wimped out on the job of pushing back against that. That's the issue. And I have to tell you something. Just in case you're wondering, we really don't have time for you to get done with your trauma work before you join us. <laughs> and we really don't have time for you to like, like, get over, like it's so toxic, of course it's toxic because we're not there. That's why politics is toxic. Every single area that our crowd has touched has been transformed. Where do you think all that mindfulness stuff comes from? Us. Where do you think all those yoga mats come from? us? Where do you came up, think all that sanctuary stuff and whole person education, whole person medicine? Where do you think that stuff comes from? Us. Politics doesn't have it. It's old fashioned. It's based in mid-century mentality. Too many of us say, I don't want to go there because it's toxic. It's only toxic because we haven't gone there. <laughs> so the issue is, the issue is, for us to know, do you think that the people who crossed that bridge at Selma were not traumatized? Do you think that the abolitionists were not scared? Do you think it was like uh, that these people were not as stressed and anxious as any of us are? I'm sure even more so. There is a way in which our community, to be honest, needs to toughen up. We need to read some books. We need to get smart. We are smart, but we need to, we need to stop coddling our neuroses. We need to stop coddling the neuroses in each other. On certain days, we will cry. You bet we will cry. But you know what? Let me tell you what happens when you're depressed and also having to change the world. You cry, and then you get up, and you take a shower, and you change the world. And I know from my own experience, your subconscious will put that, put your own tears on the shelf for a few hours. You go do what you need to do to save this country and to save this world. You come back, you'll cry some more, but you will sleep better out of that night because you knew what you, you did, what needed to be done. You prayed that day, you meditated that day, and then you kicked ass. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.